Good morning, I'm Josh. I'm the bar manager here at the Brudenell Hotel. Today I'm going to be making the Suffolk Pear and Apple Martini. This is one of our signature martinis and we take great pride in serving it because most of the products are all here based in Suffolk, minus the uh, vodka. We have, um, to make the Suffolk Pear and Apple Martini, we have the absolute pear vodka. We only use 25 millimetres of this. We then also have the Giffords Apple Liqueur. Giffords are a local, locally um, sourced company. Uh, they produce lots of lovely reds, whites and sparkling wines along with these lovely liqueurs that we're going to be using the apple liqueur just here. They're just based outside of Sudbury. Here is the High House apple juice. Um, they're just based outside of Woodbridge. So here at the root now it's probably around about two minutes away. Lovely, so I'm going to kick it off. We have the absolute pear vodka, we're going to use 25mm of this. We've got 50 millimetres of the apple liqueur. Bit of sugar syrup, just to bond all the flavours and make sure it doesn't taste memory when we come to shake it or stir the cocktail. I also use 50 millimetres of the apple apple juice as well. What time are you looking for? Yeah. Love it. How many Instead of shaking it, I'll give it a stir. The reason I'm stirring it is so you, we won't bruise the liqueurs and the spirits in there. We want to stir it and just, just try and mould all the flavours. We'll wait until it's nice and frosted outside the cocktail shaker. Martini glass. Thank you, bye. We'll strain it into the martini glass. We'll hold a tea strainer at the top there before we won't get any crushed ice. To garnish, we use a Granny Smith apple. The uh, reason you use Granny Smith apple is just a nice thing to eat at the end of your martini. Nice pre dinner drink. Cut it into a round circle, cut a line into it, place onto the top of the martini glass. We're going to get a small straw, dab it into the top of the martini glass, top of the spirit, the drink, and place onto the side glass. Voila, suffer, throw an apple martini.